First, the objective or tangible universe. Second, the subjective worlds or form. And thirdly, the spiritual aspect which is to be found at the heart of all point eight the internal fires that animate and vitalize show themselves in a twofold manner seven the term ring pass not is used in occult literature to denote the periphery of the sphere of influence of any central life force and is applied equally to all atoms from the atom of matter is dealt with by the physicist or chemist through the human and planetary atoms up to the great atom of a solar system. The ring pass knot of the average human being is the spheroidal form of his mental body which extends considerably beyond the physical and enables him to function on the lower levels of the mental plane. 81. The primordial is the ray and the direct emanation of the sacred core. S. D. I. 115, 116. The sacred core R. Unity. A. B. Father Mahadeva. Son. Vishnu. First Logos. Second Logos. Duality. Will. Love Wisdom, Trinity, C. Mother Brahma, Third Logos, Spirit, Intelligent Activity, Sacred Core, D. 2, A. 540, B. C. 3, A. B. E. The United Manifestation of the Three Macrocosm. The manifested quaternary and the seven builders proceed from the mother. S. D. I. 402. The seven builders are the Manasaputras, the mind-born sons of Brahma, the third aspect. S. D. 3. They come into manifestation to develop the second aspect. S. D. I. 108. Their method is objectivity. The reawakened energy sprang into space. They are the veiled synthesis. They are the totality of manifestation. S. D. I. 362. S. D. I. 470. They are precosmic. S. D. I, 152, 470. 42 ATREATISEONCOSMICFIREE T-A-B-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-I T-A-B-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-I I-N-T-R-O-V-U-C-T-O-R-Y-R-E-M-A-R-K-S-43 First is latent heat. This is the basis of rotary motion and the cause of the spheroidal coherent manifestation of all existence, from the logoic atom, the solar ring pass not, down to the minutest atom of the chemist or physicist. Second, as active heat. This results in the activity and the driving forward of material evolution. On the highest plane the combination of these three factors, active heat, latent heat and the primordial substance which they animate, is known as the sea of fire, of which Akasha is the first differentiation of pregenetic matter. Akasha, in manifestation, expresses itself as Fohat, or divine energy, and Fohat on the different planes is known as ether, air, fire, water, electricity, ether, prana and similar terms. Point nine, ten, eleven. it is the sum total. 9 Akasha, definition, it is the synthesis of ether, it is the essence of ether, it is primordial ether, it is the third logos in manifestation. 10 H, P, B, defines the Akasha in the following terms. S, D, 2, 538. S, 
D I 353 35 S D I 366 S D I 585 S D I 377 S D 2 538 Akasha the astral light can be defined in a few words. It is the universal soul, the matrix of the universe, the mysterium magicum from which all that exists is born by separation or differentiation. In the various occult books it is called by different terms and it would be of value perhaps if we enumerate some of them here, there is one universal element with its differentiations. Homogeneous. 1. Indifferentiated cosmic substance. 2. Primordial ether. 3. Primordial electric entity. 4. Akasha. 5. Super astral light. 6. Fiery serpent. 7. Mulaprakriti. 8. Pregenetic matter. Differentiated. 1. Astral light. 2. Sea of Fire 3. Electricity 4. Prakrita 5. Atomic Matter 6. The Serpent of Evil 7. Ether, with its four divisions Air, Fire, Water, Earth 11. Fohad is Divine Thought or Energy, Shakti, is manifested on any plane of the cosmos it is the interplay between spirit and matter. The seven differentiations of Fohad are 1. The plane of divine life Adi 2. The plane of monodic life 3. The plane of spirit 4. The plane of the intuition 5. The plane of mind 6. The plane of desire Sea of fire Anupadaka, Atma, Buddy, Mental, Astral, Air, Fire, Akasha, Ether, Astral Light, 7, The Plane of Density, Physical, Ether, S, V, e, I, 105, 134, 135, 136. 44 A T R E A T I S C O N C O S M I C F I R E Of that which is active, animated, or vitalized, and of all that concerns itself with the adaptation of the form to the needs of the inner flame of life. It might here be useful to point out that magnetism is the effect of the divine ray and manifestation in the same sense that electricity is the manifested effect of the primordial ray of active intelligence. It would be well to ponder on this for it holds hidden mystery. The fires of the mental plane also demonstrate in a twofold manner. First, as the fire of mind, the basis of all expression and in one peculiar occult sense the sum total of existence. It provides the relation between the life and the form, between spirit and matter, and is the basis of consciousness itself. Second, as the elementals of fire, or the sum total of the active expression of thought, showing itself through the medium of those entities who, in their very essence, are fire itself. These dualities of expression make the four necessary factors in the Logoic Quaternary, L2 or the lower nature of the Logos viewing his manifestation from one esoteric angle, Exoterically, they are the sum total of the Logoic Quaternary, plus the Logoic Fifth Principle, Cosmic Mind. The Divine Spark is not as yet manifest, as do the other two fires, as a duality, though what lies hidden in a later cycle, evolution alone will disclose. 
This third fire, along with the other two, make the necessary five of Logoic evolutionary development and by its perfected merging with the other two fires as the evolutionary process proceeds as seen the goal of Logoic attainment for this greater cycle or period of this solar system. 12. The quaternary is composed of the four lower principles and the sheets through which they manifest as a coherent unit, being held together during manifestation by the life force of the indwelling entity. INTROVUCTORYMARKS 45 when the primordial ray of intelligent activity, the divine ray of intelligent love, and the third cosmic ray of intelligent will meet, blend, merge, and blaze forth, the Logos will take his fifth initiation, thus completing one of his cycles. When the rotary, the forward, and the spiral cyclic movements are working in perfect synthesis, then the desired vibration will have been reached. When the three laws of economy, of attraction, and of synthesis work with perfect adjustment to each other, then nature will perfectly display the needed functioning, and the correct adaptation of the material form to the indwelling spirit, of matter to life, and of consciousness to its vehicle. Two fire in the microcosm let us briefly consider therefore the correspondence between the greater whole and the unit man and then block out our subject in detail and consider the sections into which it will be wise to divide it fire in the microcosm is likewise threefold in essence and fivefold in manifestation one there is internal vitalizing fire which is the correspondence to fire by friction. This is the sum total of individual Kundalini. It animates the corporeal frame and demonstrates also in the twofold manner. First, as latent heat which is the basis of life of the spheroidal cell, or atom, and of its rotary adjustment to all other cells. Second, as active heat or prana, this animates all, and is the driving force of the evolving form. It shows itself in the four ethers and in the gaseous state, and a correspondence is here found on the physical plane in connection with man to the Akasha and its fivefold manifestation on the plane of the solar system. This fire is the basic vibration of the little system in which the monad or human spirit is the logos, and it. 46 ATREATISEONCOSMICFIRE holds the personality or lower material man in objective manifestation thus permitting the spiritual unit to contact the plane of densest matter. It has its correspondence in the ray of intelligent activity and is controlled by the law of economy in one of its subdivisions, the law of adaptation in time. 2. There is next the fire or spark of mind which is the correspondence in man to solar fire. This constitutes the thinking self-conscious unit or the soul. This fire of mind is governed by the law of attraction as is its greater correspondence. Later we can enlarge on this. It is this spark of mind in man, manifesting a spiral. Cyclic activity, which leads to expansion and to his eventual return to the center of his system, the monad the origin and goal for the reincarnating jiva or human being. As in the macrocosm this fire also manifests in a twofold manner. It shows as that intelligent will which links the monad or spirit with its lowest point of contact, the personality, functioning through a physical vehicle. It likewise demonstrates, 
as yet imperfectly, as the vitalizing factor in the thought forms fabricated by the thing.